Alrighty guys, we've got the Corsair AX1200i up for unboxing today. I was originally not going to get this for my computer because it's really unnecessary at this current point in time. However, I had to turn my screen around there. However, um, I decided that I'm going to, for the time being at least, I'm going to keep my old computer. And the only two parts missing from having two complete computers was the extra power supply and a different case. I already bought the case. That unboxing's uh, probably up by now. And the other thing I was missing is the power supply, so here's the power supply that I decided for my main system. So we've got the AX1200i, it's got a little flap here, it tells you some things about it, it tells you all the cables that are included. Here you've got a semi-translucent view of what the power supply looks like inside. Uh, it just kind of shows you the technology, but it's not the best image because once again it's only semi-translucent. <coughs> Uh, a couple little features that it tells you about there. I'm not going to read all of those, but, you know, if you're in the store, which I actually was, and you're kind of looking at power supplies, you could open that up and read those those uh, interesting features if you want. We'll open this thing from the side here. Actually, with my luck... Okay, never mind. Because last time I opened my power supply, I opened it from the wrong side, so I was just checking to make sure that this one is on either side box. So we'll pop this open. This is uh, red. I'm not sure how well my camera will pick that up. It might look orange, but it's a nice bright red on the packaging. You know, once again, more red. Of course, they really takes their time designing even their packaging, which is really nice. Just shows that they put pride in their products. We slide it out, and we've got a black inner box. Once again, pride in their packaging. This actually did not come with the regular AX series of power supplies, or well, the AX850-1200. But apparently the 1200i does indeed get a black internal box as well. Cut the factory seal and open it right up. And being the AX1200i, which needs Corsair Link uh, integration, I'm sure this is probably your download information as to how to get your software. Warranty information. Um, Corsair has fantastic warranties on every product they make. Ooh. Okay. Well, this confirms everything I've been wondering about. So this is your manual, AX1200i, and apparently the cat's out of the bag what their upcoming products will be then, because you've got the 860 and the 760, which, that 10 extra watts, I guess they really need to advertise it. So there will uh, apparently not be a 650 watt option, but whatever. It might just not be on there. But anyway, so now I'm kind of excited for those, because I, I would like to pick up a, like a 750 or 850 for a second system, but I'd like the, uh, the Corsair Link integration. So when those come out, I might pick one of those up as well. Cut open this little reflective anti-static bag here. I think I know what's in here. Yep. Okay. So slide this out. If you do not have the full Corsair Link 3.5-inch uh, module, which I do, so I don't need this, but if you do not have that, you use this. It plugs in through USB, an internal USB header just like the full Corsair Link, but you've only got one header for use with the power supply, it's got a little indicator light there. So yeah, if you don't want to buy the full hundred and something dollar Corsair Link integration kit, then that's how you use this with your Corsair Link software. Here we've got a nice thick power cable. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is like 14 gauge, which some companies are shipping uh, 12 gauge cables. Yeah, this is 14 gauge. Um, some companies ship 12 gauge power cables with a fifth with this regular plug right here. Now, even with my limited uh, extent of knowledge towards electricity, this is a 15 amp plug, and 15 amps. The the cable standard for it is 14 gauge. So using 12 gauge power cables on 15 amps is stupid. So if you're if one of these is like sideways, which implies a 20 amp outlet, then yes, 12 gauge is necessary. But if somebody ships a 12 gauge cable with a 15 amp rated uh, plug, they're making you pay more money for the product than you need to. <clears throat> Let's take out the bag of cables. And actually, I'm going to cut the camera here because this is full of cables. I'm going to sort them out into their various categories, and we'll be right back with those. Alrighty guys, so we are back. I've sorted out all the cables. I'm just going to move through these here. We've got two Molex to floppy power adapters because some devices do require a floppy power other than a floppy drive. We've got the Corsair Link cable. Now, I'm not sure how to represent how tiny this is, but here's the end that plugs into the power supply. 
and here's the Corsair link connector. Now, here, let's let's see if I can do this. That's my thumbnail. You know, it's kind of a tiny connector, like extremely tiny. Okay, so you've got your main 24 pin right here, and it splits off into two to plug them to the power supply end. <clears throat> you've got six PCI connectors. I'm just going to show one. It plugs into the PSU right there, and it's a six plus two. So you can either use it as a six pin or an eight pin. So there's your six pin. You add this on the side here, and you get your full eight pin. You got six of those for three-way SLI or crossfire, if you so choose. You've got two supplemental CPU powers. These can also be split in half for either 8-pin or 4-pin, and you get two of these. Because with such a high wattage power supply and the components that would go along with that, you might need two, um, two CPU powers, which my motherboard actually does, so that's handy. You get one, two, three, four. Um, SATA cables. These have four SATA plugs each on them. Actually, does it have four? Yes, it does have four. So you've got a ton of SATA connectors if you need those. I personally would have liked to see a couple with only two connectors on them because you don't always need four connectors, but eh, whatever. And you've also got... Ooh, did I sort these? Okay, nope. It's kind of weird. You get three... Um, Molex power adapters. Again, each of these have four connectors on them. So these are all of your cables. You get a ton of them to choose from. And no, not every one of those can simultaneously plug into the power supply. So you'll have to make your choices, but it should be able to power pretty much anything you need. You also get a little accessories bag. In here, you're going to get some zip ties, which are nice. You get a Corsair case badge. This right here is going to be a piece of uh, either adhesive or Velcro. Either way, to secure down this little Corsair Link module thing in your case, if you want to use that. So that's what's in your accessory package, you know, just no big deal. And then, underneath the styrofoam here, which is nice, rather soft packaging, so I'm going Linus style on you guys, so it's got nice padding, so nothing's going to get broken. And inside there, we've got our power supply. I'm just going to sit in my chair, actually, because I'm, like, bending over my bed. This is uncomfortable, so, yeah. Um, we're going to open this up right here. It's got a f an extremely fancy little bag, because this is, an, this is Corsair's top-end power supply. So, as such, they include this fancy cloth bag. It's like, uh, I don't know what fabric, but... And then you've got your power supply, which is wrapped in a little plastic bag to keep it from scratching even though it's inside the cloth bag as well. So I'm going to stand back up I guess. And here you've got your power supply. It's got a 140 millimeter fan with some extra space because this is just a big power supply. And when it's mounted in your case, in a normal case anyways, whether it's um, with the fan down or the fan up, your logo is facing the right way. So the little things that Corsair thinks of. On your power input side, you've got your switch and a power input, and you know, no big deal. Over here, we've got similar inputs that you would get on the regular AX1200. Uh, you've got your 24 pin. This is a little heavy to hold with one hand. Hold on. You've got, right here is where you plug in your CPU power and your graphics card. So you could use your two 8 pins and all six PCI power at the same time. Or if you were using like four graphics cards and for some reason no CPU power, you can actually call Corsair and they'll send you extras for this, I do believe. Over here is where you plug in your peripheral plugs for your hard drives and whatever else. You've got a little self-test LED. I'm not sure exactly, and a button, and I'm not sure exactly what that does for you, but I, I'm sure it does something, otherwise it wouldn't be there. And you've got your uh, communications port. That is what interfaces this power supply with your computer. Let's get the itty bitty cable. And once again, this end plugs right in to here. Then you plug the other end into the Corsair Link and it will tell you how much wattage things are using in your computer and all that fancy goodness. So anyways, peoples, this has been the unboxing of the Corsair AX1200i. It is Corsair's top-of-the-line power supply. It's 80-plus uh, platinum rated. 
it's actually rated like five watts over spec, which isn't a huge deal, but you know, it's kind of nice that it puts out all of the wattage it says and even more. Plus it's Corsair, so it's reliable and should never break on you. Their warranty is fantastic, all that stuff. Basically, if you're in the market for the ultimate power supply, this is definitely a contender. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, leave me a comment. If you want to see more of my videos, please click subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in my next videos.